dead body that is not exterminated becomes one of them. It gets up and kills. The people it kills get up and kill. Whenever I come out, I feel really weird and crazy. I have to lie down. I'll be all right, I have to acclimatize to the uh, Manhattan magnet. I'll be all right in about an hour. Yeah, but it's real. I'm trying to get back. Um, <laughs> about seven o'clock. So, I spent about three hours rearranging my hotel room because I didn't like the way it was laid out. And then I had to come down and do this press. <laughs> you should have come home when I told you to come home. What do you mean you tried me to come home? You just did your amazing disappearing act. You lying little motherfucking oh, no, shit. You I came up to you and I said, I'm going. <laughs> I remember, sorry. Yeah, thank you. I said, I'm going because we've got to work in the morning and I'm a really good boy. <laughs> he said, no, I'm staying here. We have the creators, the masterminds, the, the brilliance behind the gorillas. We have Jamie Sorry. and Damon here today. So you guys, what's going on is, is you guys have a gorilla show. You're doing a few shows here in the U.S., right? Doing five and, nights at the Apollo in Harlem. Okay. So how'd you guys, this is one of the more like brilliant off the wall amazing music concepts that's, you know, come up in a long time. Right. Where were you guys doing sitting around and all of a sudden, like, cartoon band, we're going to make a cartoon band? See, I'm the sort of person who watches TV and just screams at it all night long, and then I ended up watching TV with him, and he's kind of the same, so we just, we were watching MTV, and we were just like, what's all this rubbish? <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> what's all this rubbish manufactured crap, so yeah. we thought we could probably do it a little bit better, but slightly different. People take themselves way too seriously in yeah. the music business, so I suppose Gorillaz for us is just a sort of, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an antidote to that. Well, how do you guys feel about stuff, you know, like the, the extreme of what you're talking about, like American Idol or, you know, the well, manufacturer? All that, all of that is a sickness and should be, um, and should, you know, they need to find a cure for it. They really do. I mean, you know, sadly, I know the guy who invented all of that. Mm -hmm. he, used to, he used to actually work for, for our manager. He's got so much money, and all it's actually given him is, is a slight weight problem, a very, a very, very orange skin, and really bad leather trousers. <laughs> <laughs> That's really sorry, like, <laughs> that, that is karma manifest. <laughs>
Success. This is uh, loads and loads of shots, but the shots ready. Two D. This is the uh, we've got a gorilla in the band who plays the bongos. It's a noodle. All this stuff can be used for internet sites and press photos. And, you know. This is a scenario from one of the comics, one of the TV for the TV series I'm thinking of doing, where they um, Murdoch tampers with uh, black magic and makes packs with the devil, and uh, they're filming a, a video in this graveyard next to this vivisectionist laboratory and uh, he does a few little spells in the back of the tour bus and all these zombie monkeys come out of the ground and attack him. A bit of fun, there's them playing. I'm, just, I'm dying to get animating ready so I can make a move. First ever picture I've ever drew of gorillas. The day after we, me and David sat watching TV in the evening talking about it, the next morning I woke up and do that. No. G.G. Mur Russell, Murdoch, Russell. Paula. <laughs> 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 Who the fuck is Paula? We always wanted to pick up on some sort of pop star stereotypes and then maybe have them living the lives of real pop stars, but that it didn't end up coming out quite like that because they, they just sort of took on characters of their own. I mean, people are always saying, you know, that the thing that I purposely invented, like a, a black character, an Asian character, and an English character, to make an appeal to everyone, but it just came out like that. I mean, when I was inventing Noodle, I was drawing sort of 17 year old girls with guitars, and David said, you're always drawing stuff like that, why don't you do something different? And so I just drew a ten-year-old and it's, it just seemed to work. Murdoch's sort of the, um, it's his band. <laughs> he, 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 he sort of put gorillas together. It's his idea. But he's sort of, uh, he's sort of an ugly, sort of snaggletoothed Satanist who didn't actually get the job of being the lead singer because he isn't very handsome. So 2D got the job, which is always, which is always going to piss him off. The 2D sort of looks at Murdoch and, uh, as if he's, you know, his saviour, his sort of big pal, his big brother. And yet he's totally abused him and he's an absolute cunt to him all the time. And um, 2D seems to be the only one who doesn't realise this for some reason. There's no one told him that he's mm -hmm. in Miracle Mike's He's just one of those people who you tell things and it just doesn't seem to register. In one ear, out the other. <laughs> 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 this is what I like to do at work. Watch The Exorcist and Zombies Dawn of the Dead all day. I watched uh, three zombie films on a row the other day. And uh, made myself feel really depressed. The animator will do the main body of work. I'm talking! The main sort of movements he's got. And then there'll be a big team of people who are all there to sort of help. Fill in colour, ink, pencil. It's not a very exciting process. It's not sort of like sitting down in the studio and then he comes up with a green little tune and everyone goes, oh. It's not like that, it's more sort of donkey work. <clears throat> but the finished result will be wicked. Are we ready? kind of songs like this, you know? Because we have all this nice <coughs> dubby stuff and then occasionally we just yeah, throw it. in with a sort of nasty track. Shut up! Yeah. 
some little thing in the second verse on the gaps. I wonder what. Jamaican old school dub bass player and a uh, twat from Leitenstein. <laughs> transpired that he's one of the original Studio One musicians and worked with everyone from Bob Marley to Augustus Pablo to Lee Perry to King Tubby. And um, from that point on, these sort of heavy bass lines were sort of appearing on all the tracks. And then I kind of got sort of 75% way through the album and, and then um, found, found I couldn't really go any further. So I rang Dan up and he brought some amazing characters into the picture like Adele uh, Funky Home Sapien and, Miho for Juven Masso and sprinkled a bit of Dan Nakamura fairy dust over it and uh, Gorillaz was created. That's enough time. What, two weeks to animate video? What do you think? Huh? Do you know how long it takes to animate? Singing the lyric and his eyes blinking a bit. That's it. Kind of moving his body, kind of nodding his head. Can't do anything like that. We're both in agreement on what should be the, the second single, or the first proper single, because this is sort of supposed to be a low budget video and, and it's kind of a, a small release. 
So what's the first proper single then? Um, Russell, who, he's not based on anyone, but he's kind of got a lot of the things that we like about hip hop from being sort of outsiders and looking into that world, you know. And we, right. gave, we gave him this special power where he could do something up the spirits of musicians dead or living. And with Dell, it's, he's alive, but has got a fear of flying, so it's necessary to have Russell as a conduit for him, but uh, in the future, sorry, I don't think that's in the future, I think Russell could, you know, work with anyone from two packs to uh, a vanilla ride. Look, I'll make it all manageable, pick and choose, sit and lose, all you different crews. I've been talking to uh, Nick Gold from World Circuit Records, who handles one of his social clubs, and uh, Ibrahim Perez is going to come down and spin on the Latin track. Once he's got the clear track about me, you just feel it the way that he wants to do it. It's, it's not it's not my, once he sings it, it's not my song, it's his song. Nice, you know, it's not so it's 73 years old. After 73 years old, try something different for him. Déjalo, si quieres continuar, hermano, sal, ilumina tu vida. Todo el cielo apretándote, dime qué hará. Tom, if he's going to carry over onto the second verse, then, then whatever the second verse is going to have to be on different tracks, okay? They don't get it in that way yet, so it's important. Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 of course. It's a serious interview, and we will ask all the questions seriously and try to do a funny, cool interview. Yeah. But the characters have characters, and you have to sort of yes, but portray but that character a bit. 2D isn't that smart, so you know. No, sure, sure, sure. You've sure, got to be a little sure, bit sure. fucking. Uh, and he knows what his character is like, and I've got to be Murdoch, who's Murdoch, so I've got to be a bit fucking. You know, like Murdoch. I'm going to talk like this. Hey, man up here! <laughs> is that right? Or is that a bit too? Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing well. You're waiting for your call. We thought you'd forgotten about us. <laughs> I'm, I'm all right, yeah. I'm a bit uh, disorientated. Hello? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be fucking up my head like this. What's funny? Well, we, we don't we don't we don't fight crime, but uh, you know. What? Who the fuck is comparing us to boy bands? You seen the boy band? What are we? A one? <laughs> oh, hang, hang, hang on a little bit. I got some some dude, Dave Narbonne's coming in here. Mark. 
Hello, Damon. It's not working. I'll be me, I'll save it. Cheers. Right. Just have to explain it to him. I know it's all right. You blew that, didn't you? What? You totally fucking blew that. That was going fine, man. It's because you panicked because you couldn't think of anything to say as 2D. You had to step in as yourself. He was doing great. I was doing all right. We were just easing into it. And then you stepped in as almost like you were saying, I'm oh, sorry, okay, all right. We're not really real, but, uh, but, but I'll talk to you. It was going absolutely fine, man. Oh, oh fine, for God's sake. He hadn't got it, all right? This is the first piece. He's going to talk about this new band, great music, great images, with these characters and the whole thing. Yeah, but I think we need to... To get this sort of I totally agree, agree with, with you. With My you God, down to a T yeah. because you know, I mean, we didn't. Jamie, us. I've been talking about this. I've spent all I've been like on, you know. No, it's not fucking you. I'm just saying what I think. Can you just understand this, right? I'm gonna say this once, okay? This is an organic thing. Every week something comes up. Uh, you know, Rolling Stones might decide tomorrow that they want to do an interview the next day. You can't, that, that's the level of work. That's why I was saying to you how important it is uh, that we get, you get a group of people who are all very confident about their characters. Well, Re 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 Remy's fine, and I think we should get Nelson because he was really good as T. Yeah, and I'm yeah, sure and you two got a bit sure of yeah. our team, yeah. so. Phil Cornwall will be excellent yeah. as well. But you know, just to say that I fucking, you know. Right, I'm sorry I said right. you blew it. You didn't blow it. Hey, Jamie, Jamie, I it's spent just, years. You know, I spent just, years not explaining myself and just expecting Americans to get it. They didn't. Americans like you to be nice. They like you to explain things clearly. They like to feel that they're, you know, they don't want to feel condescending. You, you know what I mean? They have a real problem with English people to start off with. And the people that do well in America are the ones that go and fucking explain it all, you know, and play the game that they're, you know. The guy got it. The guy, first thing he said to me, he said, I can see how difficult this is, you know, but I really am into this, you know. So I just said, yeah, well, you know, what we're trying to do, you know. You know, what else do I do? No, I'll fuck it off, you know. In the time before dark pop, chaos reigned. From the chaos came gorillas. The nature of gorillas was irrepressible. Their debut album featuring the massive hit Clint Eastwood is coming. Judgment Day will be March 26th. Be enlightened. Ready? You got it? Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Open your mouth. Yeah, it's open, man. It's not open enough. Whoa! <laughs> well, if I just... Oh, had on a, in. You ready? If I'd had a tracky ox me, you would have been fucking right in there. She's got to be cool about this, yeah? <laughs> Damon was saying, oh, he needs, he needs to sound more American because he's from America. But the fact is, Russell's been living in England for probably yeah. about six or seven years. So he's probably lost a lot of his... He's, and, 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 and the four years before that, when he was in America, he was in a coma. <laughs> so there's a very good chance that his American, his American accent has uh, slipped. And it also has to be consistent. Because, I mean, it's, it's obviously it's hard, it's hard holding a voice. Yeah. It's going to slip. I mean, that fucking, that fucking Nelson, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> One minute he's 2D, the next minute, I don't know. He's John Inman. <laughs> I've got to go for a piss really badly. Keep going, Cass. OK, um, there was a girl named Mariah who succumbed to her lover's desire. She said it's a sin, but now that it's in, could you shove it a few inches higher? How's that? Back a bit. OK, how's that there? <laughs> but I sort of explain the sort of, you know, what mood he's in in each one. Yeah, okay. I think that, well, that one's obvious. He's got a steaming hangover and he's very fucking pissed off. For the love of sweet Satan, my head. Ah, ah, oh, what is that banging? Stop that it's banging! Stop it, banging! Stop it, banging! I can't catch it, look, it's so slippery. I can't, I can't, I can't kill it. Can't kill it? What do you mean, can't kill it? Ah. I'll show you how to kill a needle. You, you grab the damn thing and melt its face. Melt its face, melt its face. Ah, Gorillas have gone tin, and uh, you know I'd like to accept this on behalf of no one but myself, um, because I'm done uh, with well. Thank you very much uh, to everyone, uh, you know, for leaving me alone and letting me get on with being beautiful. And this is what I got. <laughs> Whenever you're ready.
Yeah, he'll let me know when he's ready. <laughs> I'm the controller. No, Tom's the controller, and I'm second in command. <laughs> <laughs> Better get my hard hat on. <laughs> okay! Nagari! Nagari! Nagari, Nagari! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I do that a lot, actually. That, uh -oh. That's his, uh... <laughs> That's the sound effect. Is it? Oh. Oh. Imagine Murdoch dressed up like a fucking Nazi. Yeah. Looking like a right fucking idiot. Oh man, where'd you get that outfit? You can't go dressing up as a goddamn Nazi, you cracker ass. This thought has never actually occurred to him. <laughs> what, what do you mean? Well, why didn't anyone tell me it was crap? <laughs> Damon, it's the police, they want you to stop playing the fucking police. The <laughs> war's the best video, so yeah. sort of me and, me and Peter, really, isn't it? We should really. Oh, yeah, you know. Well, yeah, you said you didn't want to. He's going to go. No, I don't want to go. Look at He's going to go with you, but he doesn't want to go up on stage. Cool. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's just fucking stupid. Yeah, just say whatever. Just say whatever. Why don't you want to go? Huh? Why don't you want to go? Yeah. My team are the best. Fucking great, my team. Kate's great, Susan's great, Matt's great, the Watkins brothers. Everybody's getting it done. 300,000 people on our website being entertained, and we have six people putting it together. That's, that's a 30 man job, that is. Overkill them. Career over. I can smell them. This is showing people about what gorillas is about. It is, exactly. Right then, so I'm going to play my banjo in this thing. Yeah. In the psychiatrist? Yeah. No. Yes. Damon. Damon. Hey, Damon. He's not going to play. I am. No, fuck come on, Damon. Damon. Oh, you fucking play my banjo. I'm going to play my banjo. I'm going to do things like this. You should have said two weeks ago, not on the day. I told you, you that on the day I would be having a few creative ideas. On the <laughs> You're playing the banjo in the scene this afternoon, OK? That's fine. Oh, Jack, it's a shirt. You That's gave it to me ages ago, yeah. When I lived with you. Yeah. In those days of shared pants. Shared? Sorry. It's a bit one-sided, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't share any pants. <laughs> it got to the point where he was hiding them. At a different place every hour, they'd move. Became like, a, became like a sort of, you know, strategic yeah, well, the, well, the, the, the thing I didn't understand is that every pair he borrowed, I never saw them again. I said, fair enough, no. we'll wash them and you can wear them again, but no. They disappeared. And I'm like, where are they? I don't know. How can you not know where your pants have gone? <laughs> At some point, I just sort of got this massive urge to play live because I, I just thought this record would work live. And I've got a set of musicians together, some of them who played on the record and some of them who, who are totally new. When he came in, he didn't know the stuff. I was just like, I know. I know, but actually, it's just because he... No, but fuck it, man. That was even better, because he picked it up really fast, you know? And he landed his own bits, which is even better. I think we have a band. Nice one. Nice band, bro. 
and get a keyboard player. Huh? You're not half bad. Go and get a keyboard player and then uh, we have a band. Right, we know when we're coming yeah. in and everything. Right. Just confident, it doesn't matter if you get things wrong. Just be confident about everything and then we'll be... We're, we're progressing a lot quicker. The technology does not exist to do exactly what we want to do on stage. So the, li the live show was the one thing that uh, didn't come easy. I mean, everything else with Google, is we had it pretty figured out from the start, but the live show was something that we couldn't quite get our heads around. So basically what you have is a giant cinema screen on stage um, and you have a live band standing behind the screen um, playing the music. And onto the screen we project um, animation and flash animation and, and images and live action and, and just all kinds of stuff really. So it, it's, it's a real experiment the live show, it's uh, different. Okay. So I have him here. We're ready to go. Hey, 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 how are you? 
Okay. I'm okay, thank you. Uh, so you're calling from London? No, actually, I'm calling from Miami. Venezuela. Wow. Because EMI thought it would be cheaper. Okay. And what, what are you doing in Miami? It's ridiculous, really. All I'm doing is telephone calls. I've got an idea, though, that maybe it would be nice to record in Iraq. That's Iraq. Hello? Hello? Oh, God, I hate doing this so much. It's just like... radio stations in a room and like a free for all there's gonna be a bunch of other bands there so we just oh no oh, we're not gonna bump no. oh, right. we're we're not gonna bump into Youngstown oh yeah we? No, I'm tired of our nemesis Youngstown we, well if we start a fight well that would be good yeah that'd get press no, such, no such thing as bad publicity Damon all we'll find the bands <laughs> it's, it's the VMA so like anybody like who's in town for this is gonna go yeah. listen, listen. I don't know they're all gonna be there there it's like everyone sort of they'll do like two hour blocks there's not even really much in time what for the sort of bands are we talking bands we've never fucking heard of we're talking about actual proper Justin bands. Timberland's gonna be there probably you know <laughs> mixture of both <laughs> 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 Can you change your name? Jay Diddy. Hmm? Change your name to like ashamed of myself. Jay Shitty. Jay Diddy. It'll be great to know Jay Weasel. when he goes back to his original name. Jay Weasel. I like that. Jay Weasel. Hello. Jay. How are you doing? My attitude to this shit is just fucking just give as little as possible. By the road warrior, look. And now, going round the rally, cloudy, purple river driver. We might get fucking uh, Justin Timberlake suddenly strolled by and say, You were talking about my pants? I'm gonna kill you, motherfuckers! <laughs> calling me Timberland. <laughs> my name's not Timberland. It's Timberland. Motherfucker. My name's Timberlake. And my trousers fit me fine. Where are we going now? Well, you told us that was well, this, well, this, this is gonna say, So wait a second, so who are you guys? I know, we're really right in the kind of epicenter of the cattle market. It makes England look quite sort of a mild and sort of respectable and civilised. Plug. Plug. What do you think? The scooter like this? The lamp? Uh, let's have a look. Oh, oh, oh he's... Uh, this to your uh, head. Uh, it's Remy! It's the song, by the way, that everybody calls in to request and no one has any idea what it's called. The title of the song is Clint Eastwood. What kind of a band would make it that difficult for people to know what their song is called? I wonder if gorillas are here. Hey, good morning, boys. What's up? Good morning. So we got Damon is here, we've got Dan here, and we've got Jay Weasel here. And I gotta tell you, uh, the guy from the company came in and said, all right, um, it's a parallel universe. And I thought, all right, I'm right there, I'm confused. These guys are not really the band, but they know the animated cartoon characters that are. So if that's clear to you, then jump on board. Where, are, where is uh, Murdoch and Tootie and Russell and Noodle today? Murdoch is lying on his side having uh, vodka enema with his favorite female nurse at the oh moment. Oh my God, vodka enema. I guess when you're animated, you get all the chicks oh, you want. You, you just get all the perks. Yeah, you just, and you Whatever never you have want. to pay for you know, it the next has, day. He just gets down on his knees and, and, and just begs James to draw it, you know, <laughs> and it happens. So what are your hopes for tonight then? I hope that we don't win the fucking Best Directors Award because I don't want to get up and pick it up. I hope we get really drunk and end up getting in a fight with uh, NSYNC. Hey, what? David, you come with us? Fuck off. Speak no. to me. No, I don't speak to you, you fucking punks. Peace. So tell me, what did we do last night? We won nothing. We were up for three awards and we won nothing. Turning up for the uh, MTV Awards in New York, I think, was pretty yeah. embarrassing, wasn't it? Why? <laughs> well, when we walked walk, walk, walk down us walk the red up, carpet um, and, and everyone cheered. went crazy and then we realised that uh, who was behind Destiny's, Destiny's Child, child wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We kept asking if we'd go in the back door and they said, no, you've got to go out the carpet. And we said, well, no one knows who we are. And they made us do it and they just went quiet when we walked out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Check 
the D12 M&M wasn't present, right? That no. Was, that was 911. your... 9 Yeah, it was your post-September 11th. The day after. And we talked about doing something together. It just happened that we, we were actually booked in the studio the day after. I had this track which had a sort of a certain flavour to it, and uh, they, they were out for it. And then Terry Hall came in and sort of finished off the choruses. And it's got a very strong sort of uh, Middle Eastern flavour to it. So the, hopefully the whole thing is quite a sort of uh, a peaceful statement, a balance of all things. Hey. So that's what we've we've kind of brought like to the that. table. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Where are you now? Where are you now? When you know you're never going home again. Like I'm talking about death and everything. Yeah. Talking about on the plane, they they know they were never going home again. You know what I'm saying? The actual. Seems like the snare should be like a little bit. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. Like slightly earlier when you get exactly. You know what I'm saying? Tighter. Yeah, like the snare should be like a little tighter, just the snare actually. Because it's starting to have like a boom. You know what I mean? When it come in. Doom. The doom, 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 doom. The doom, 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 doom. The doom, 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 doom. The doom, doom, doom. And you know what that is? Okay. Yeah. 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 Aha! Uh -huh. You know, hip hop history trivia with Olivia Newton John. <laughs> Derelict Arabic terrorists in the airship, arrogant, apparent to punish people by heritage. NATO marriage, hate embarrassed, there is but faith to terrorists. And improve face to face with race awareness. Erase the sheriff to army, bomb me, give goddess wish you calmly. For war, here's a starter pistol. Cause if you write and know you write, then where's your righteous ways? I sacrifice. Yeah, the whole point of, of rap, that I presume, is to express feelings that people are having, but not necessarily you're having. You know, I mean, just, you know what I mean? And, and they're all about that sort of thing. They're pretty kind of uh, revolting on occasions, but they're just, you know, they're on the M and M tip about. I'm in the psyche of the country. Yeah, yeah. I never knew you could get that kind of Arabic sort of. I've never heard it heard you sing those you know, like that. Because I want to do a lot more stuff like that with future gorilla stuff because I think, you know, it's just fucking essential that we start introducing more of that into our culture because it's, uh, it's got to be done, isn't it? Do you enjoy doing live stuff with gorillas? Is it as exciting as doing, uh, obviously... It's stuff? very different, it's very different, but I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to going to America and with at least some sort of uh, uh, sense of... Uh, I don't know, of achievement, because I've been going there for many, many years and I've always felt like, like they're, they're, as soon as I got there, they were really showing me the door. You can not have got an alternative. Let's get in there, we're going to be a finest in Ireland, some place, get used up and spend what time we got soaking up some sunshine. So, you guys are finally playing live in the States. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we lost our original bass player on the first day. Something that was rather unexpected. Yeah. Basically, we lost our man. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, but I want that's as much as I want to say. Gonna do. What the fuck are we even doing here? Well, this right. lovely we stage. We have a fucking baseball. Well, we would be all right though because we have our bait. We'll sound really cool. It might sound really cool, you know. 
You never know. It might. You never know. You never know. So let's just sort of keep our sort of morale up. Wait, it's one other thing. Is it my beat? Wait, listen. Sing and play at the same time. Well, I, I'm all worried about you singing that playing bass and holding your melodica up and singing empty in space. <laughs> okay, liquidators going on. Yeah, a bit random now. Gentlemen, ladies, gentlemen. <laughs> 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 Just get some music back on. But not yeah. the later. Yeah, I've told yeah, you. Just for a minute, just for a minute. It's nerves, he's new. <laughs> <laughs> it's new in the game. What? Let's have it to suck Hmm? Do you want some water? Suck yours. Yeah, what? Liquidator, yeah? Liquidator. Yeah, liquidator. Um, And the rest of the fucking bollocks, which I don't give a shit about. As I told you, anyway, you know? And you called me out for saying. What? I don't fucking give a shit. About what? About, no. About information. No. That's fine. But it's not fair to make Dan and, uh, and Jamie do it all, is it? Yeah, we're to talk to for them. How much is the gorillas about Dan? Because a lot of it's times. Nothing to do with Damon. Nothing at all? Nope. Okay, because I hear a lot of people explaining the concept as, you know Damon from Blur, it's his project, it's an animated group, and his name's always thrown in there. Yeah, well, that's what happens when... Uh, um, You're a megalomaniac and you try to get in front of everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damon's, Damon's very famous, so, you know, uh, um, we try to play him down as much as possible, because uh, at the end of the day, all he really does is play the triangle. Obviously, you guys are all jokes, having fun with the gorillas. No, we're deadly serious. You are deadly serious. Yeah, we're trying to knock those instinct guys right off the charts. <laughs> so once that happens, I think Justin can join our band. Yeah. We want to destroy instinct, so Justin has no choice but to come and join Gorillas. Okay, tonight's show, what will each of you be doing? Can I just ask, could you recommend yes. any good laundry shops in Toronto? Laundry? Not laundry, like lingerie. Lingerie? Oh. What do you shop for lingerie? I don't like lingerie, I don't get the point. Really? Yeah. But it feels so nice on your skin. <laughs> I don't know, I've never so worn it. I'll ask you about it. How does it feel on your don't skin? It's silky. It's so silky, yeah? Okay. Okay, okay, but back to tonight's show. What are you each going to be doing? Like we're saying, get the I'm going to be walking around in my lunch oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't leave the door open then. Don't fucking come and have a look at me then. He's <laughs> talking, eh? Yeah. Just having a chat with my fucking pal. Okay. What? Oh, pervy. Who's me? I can't, let, I can't let you in, Roberto. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Do you mind the you ever tell you not to turn your back on somebody while he's taking <laughs> a shit? <laughs> what do you want to do? Do the whole set. Do the whole set. The whole set. Yeah, we'll do the whole set. Do the whole set. Uh, 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 do the whole set and see where the holes are. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, uh,
In the middle of the show, somebody actually said to me, this is kind of like Pink Floyd for the next generation. Pink like, Floyd with Sid Barrett or Pink Floyd without Sid Barrett? I don't know. The big difference. pig with the wires and, you know what I mean? Actually, the sort of assault on the senses that, you know. Well, no disrespect to Pink Floyd, but, you know, we've got tunes. <laughs> Is it, is it a continuing project or is this the conclusion? Another album? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. David, yeah. how are you going to fit this in? I'm going to Africa and then um, uh, Mongolia, then coming back, finishing the Blur album. It's like you were rocking then when you started to sing, like, you started rocking back because you were probably not. India, yeah. yeah. there was not, isn't it? Yeah. And then we start working on, on this again. As the day I woke up, I realised that, that being a musician was about music and nothing else. Life has got a lot simpler, and my whole life got a lot simpler. I recommend it to anyone who who's involved in music, just sort of concentrate on music and finish the story and stuff like that. Then had the idea that the next yeah. album should, should be presented differently. Well, a soundtrack. Yeah. A soundtrack. Right. Score. Yeah. But not like you, any normal soundtrack. I mean, it'd be <laughs> a soundtrack. It'd be fucked up. It'd be a soundtrack. It'd be a great one. Pop songs. The next stage of this is really, for us, is right back to the attitude we had with this one, yeah. which was like, you Just know, we're going to have to convince everyone again. Yeah. You know, I think that's what we thrive for. That's what you make really good stuff. But you have to go into the wilderness, so to speak, yeah, yeah. really, to come up with really good ideas, and then you come back. If I'm like that, got it like that. You know, you've got to try these things. Won't be too loud in my ear, though, will it? Yes, mate. It will deafen the ear of your head. 
Yes. You think it'll feed back as well? Obviously. Now when they come out with a new eyeliner, they don't necessarily test it on rabbits today. Because it's already been tested. You know what I'm saying, Drew? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, do ya? You wear a lipstick? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you're gonna try and do something, right, that is a bit of cartoon magic, you've got to be somewhere, you know, you can't... Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah. Tim? That one? Yeah. Well, he's already on the net. <laughs> oh. It's got it's so fun. narrow and nervy using juices. Get it right, it's a breeze. Get it wrong, it's head no, on that's earth. that's right. Yeah, but, you know, last time we didn't know that with, um, with Dan. I, I know. You know, and it just happened to work. So, you know, mm. you've got to make some sort of calculated risk. But I always like the idea of just adding something to what we do. You know, yeah. and then adding a bit to it, so it's a joint. Co it's a co it has to be a co-production, whoever it is. Yeah, I know, oh, of course. Yeah, exactly. Well, because I think you've pretty much taken a lot of the songs are pretty much there anyway. It's almost quite loose on the last record as well, and I think. You know, yeah, but I'm really, I've got, I think I've got. You know, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's my, it feels, I don't mind saying so myself. No, but it feels much um, tighter. Oh, and it's fantastic you know. stuff in there. You know, I haven't even really started on it. Yeah, you know? that's what I mean. It's, it feels much harder, much tighter on this already. You know, from what here. That's just, just the musicianship's improved a bit, you know. A bit. Yeah, <laughs> not enough to uh, <laughs> not enough to put on your um, you know oh, on your passport oh, occupation oh, musician, <laughs> but. Can you hold that for a moment, like, while I'm sitting? Can you rub me once, Will? Yes, of course. If you hold that for me, because I'm not nervous. <laughs> and then we dub. Maybe I should have said. Oh, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Coffee all over my face. Don't be stupid. Oh, we get it. Just relax. Learn how to relax. Don't relax, except for when I'm with you. <laughs> when I'm not with you, people think I'm all Valium. I'm so relaxed. <laughs> I'm like, all the bones have been removed from my body. I'm like, I give you See, look, this, I'm not happy about this. <laughs> <laughs> You've just got to believe it. it's going to be all right. That's that laugh. <laughs> 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 You know, that laugh came from you just laughing at the, at, at the music that, 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 that was happening that day. He was just laughing at it, you know what I mean? Because it was making you feel like that. <laughs> <you know? laughs> 
Uh, man, you too though, you was making me laugh too though. Okay. Your mannerism is okay. funny, man. <laughs> you really make me laugh. You too though. <laughs> no, you in the day, you're different in the day than you are at night. Bro. Well, that's because I'm sober in the day. <laughs> are you really? <laughs> they had, had recorded a bunch of stuff already, like, yeah. he, like he did the first time, yeah. And uh, But I sat and listened to a lot of it, it was great. And then the first thing we worked on was uh, was Dirty Harry. We got along and it worked out okay. He's our greatest rapper. Yeah. Even though it's, you know, people like the streets and everything would never ever have happened if, if he hadn't. He did those, I mean, it, start, it starts it with an uh, injury and then it's Sean Ryder and everything after that is a composite of those two things. And if you can pull this off and you've really earned your producer stripes, you really have. <laughs> I don't know. No, you really have. We'll if see. you if you can do this, then you really have. You can work with anyone. Oh dear, I don't really remember doing this. You know. Am I, am, I, am I doing my? Am I doing this all, all doing one take, or am I doing my vocals again? No, we're doing one take live, mate. Live. Because I don't know what the lyrics are. Uh, let's... Just make them up. Get an album copy. I've never done lyrics. It's all just made up. No, we're not going to do the vocals again, are we? <laughs> I know. You don't know what the lyrics are. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Do you know what the lyrics are? He's not done his homework. <laughs> what are we doing? We're doing a take. <laughs> we're actually going to do. We're actually now ready for doing takes. So, well. No. Shouldn't there be someone singing? Yeah, there should. But yeah. He hasn't, doesn't know the lyrics. Catastrophony could actually be a whole new word that you've created. It Maybe we should word. leave it in. <laughs> well, that's, that's okay. All right. I'm Don't created that, that right. word. Fucking face, we're just saying. You created that <laughs> word. Deliberately <laughs> created a new right. word well called Castrophony. Yeah. Castrophony, Castrophony. And in there came a sound dissonant at first that grew into Castrophony. <laughs> so immense it could be heard far into space. Okay, now. <laughs> No. You, I, I, no, but I mean, we just okay, want no. you to see it, say how you say it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time, at the foot of a great mountain, there was a town where the people known as happy folk lived. Their very existence, a mystery to the rest of the world, obscured as it was by great clouds. Here they played out their peaceful lives, innocent of the litany, excess and violence, and it was growing inexorably you ask any of the mountain called monkey was enough. You know when it's it moves to a dun, 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 that sort of spooky um, yeah. Morricone kind yeah. of thing. That's when the camouflage. That's when the strangers. That's, yeah, I yeah. think that's the, then. Then one day, strange folk. If we could get to that, and then when that starts, then this bit starts. So right for the first time. The happy folk felt fearful, for they knew that soon the monkey would stir from its deep, deep sleep. Then there came a sound, distant at first, that grew into a catastrophe, so immense it could be heard far away in space. There were no screams. There was no time. The mountain called Monkey had spoken. There was only fire. And then, nothing. Oh, little town of USA, time's come to see. It's nothing you believe you want. But where were you when it all came down to me? Did you call me now? 
That's it. It's your luck. End of album, boys. Okay, well, gentlemen, well, thank you very much. It's been uh, lovely now. Yeah, you I'm and... Um, you have what? To dump, you have to dump the acapella. What? Jolly good. Oh, yes. Well, anyway, the best of luck to you all. And goodbye. Demon Days, the new album from Gorillaz. Featuring the single Feel Good Inc. out now. I bet Keith Richards doesn't have to do things like this. Fucking the enemy, it just just absolute the enemy. And the editor of the enemy is and all the journalists who write on the enemy are it's like fucking, you know, either get behind us or don't bother, you know. So what have they done? Just um, uh, rewritten Cass's interviews, edited out, edited, asked him loads of venomous questions, and he's written loads of very funny answers as Noodle, and then they've edited them and rewritten them to make themselves look like a bunch of smart asses, which they're not, because they're a bunch of who change their opinion every week. <clears throat> so. We're supposed to be doing a cover with them. Dirty, they, they want to do a dirty. When Dirty Harry comes out as a single, they want to do it as as a cover. I don't know if I really want to even have my artwork on the front of the enemy. It can't really help you sell that many singles anymore, can it? Being on the cover of the enemy must mean absolutely fuck all, especially when you're sort of in the top five in America with your album. What's the enemy going to do for you? Sell you an extra five copies to a couple of Razorite fans? Maybe we should just not bother. Because they're essentially, aren't they? Did I say that, James? Did I tell you I thought they were all. Yeah. <laughs> You're preaching to the converted. <laughs> anyway, I need to get on now. <sighs> I can feel his beady eyes on the back of my neck when I'm trying to draw. <laughs> Here, look, carry that. This is what the editor of the is. Yes. Oh, yeah. You get me. So I thought Dirty Harry was the first single because that got out on the internet kind of quickly. That started off uh, on an album I made on the last Blur tour called Demo Crazy, which was just all on four track. Mm -hmm. It was a whole record, totally unfinished, just the first sort of scratchings. Um, that you make in hotel rooms when you're on tour, and I just left it like that, I never devoted. Um, that's how Dirty Harry started. Uh. Music. And then you hear that, and that sort of scream sound is you raising up. And then wow, you throw it off, and then bang, you start. Okay, no problem. And then by, cool. as the rap goes on, you sort of you probably start to calm down a bit more because in the end of it, you know, all I want to do is dance, and you sort of like that. Okay. Would it be That's nice if, 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 if like, um, he comes out of the hole and does that, and then he's here, and then he's on top of the truck, and then by the side of it, it's almost like he's a phantom that keeps appearing in different places. Yeah, we can definitely get that. If you're going to get the truck that. in it, then we might as well... One well, minute he can be on top of the truck, and we can be looking up, and he can be out of the camera. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Okay. Let's go. Around this way. And this is the point of the day where we bury our featured artist in the desert. Are you all right under there, Booty? Can you hear us? Yeah, it's cool. Tiny little voice on the side. Yeah, okay. okay. Got it? Because I'm like this. Uh -huh. It's kind of hard for me to get up like I haven't got any. I can't use my legs to. If I can, if I can sit like this. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're trying to create something that uh, has no references to, to kind of rock music whatsoever. It's more like a, a sort of a, f a film score revisited, you know, with, with some reference points of the film around it. But it's kind of very, and it's very much a program of music. This gives you an idea of the stage show. Normal theatre stage show? No, 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 but for some reason I just envisaged a slightly Gary. bigger Gary. width to it, not necessarily depth. Yeah. Good. You can see the depth big from enough. around this side. Ooh. I don't think it's big enough. Gary. Do you want to come and look around the side here, Damon? Damon, come and have a look round this side. You can look all, all down that side you like. This is where, this is it, isn't it? It's there to there. There's your stage. Curtains, pit. Mm -hmm. Take that. Screen hanging. Well, forget the screen, it's up in the sky. But here's some coloured panels at the back, mm -hmm. band in front of them. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the whole thing here for exactly. choir, mm -hmm. strings. With its glossy floor, so you get the coloured reflections. It's what you know. I, 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 my, my, my initial thoughts are: let's make, let's try make an interesting looking stage. But fuck it, let's have everybody on the same level. You right at the back. Yes. Right. And we still have some coloured panels that flash on. And I think of the, the panels. Are but you'll be a smaller set. silhouette yeah. at the back. You'll yeah, be, you'll right. be less. And then you've got choir here. You can have all of the strings on stage. Yeah, exactly. All the choirs on stage. That, I'm happy with that now. Good. Are you That's good? really <laughs> easy. three and a half minutes and they've done your set. Yo, it's beautiful, like, to have someone, for us to walk off and then someone try to hand us a towel was, like, funny, like, <laughs> yo, we did two hours, like, you yeah. handing me a towel after being on stage for three minutes, like, you keep your towel. Yeah. 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 You know, 
in a series of wows. Good morning. How's it going? I heard you guys uh, had a long night getting into the States. Pardon? Oh, no, nothing. Hey, so... I, I, what, are you, what, are you trying to, what are you trying to uh, say about me? Yeah, you just flew in, is that right? Yeah, I flew in last night, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I guess my first question is... But how, how, how on earth am I going to get here unless I have a long flight? Hey, hey, I already had a long unless flight. you've invented a new form of travel. Not a long flight. Long night. That's why they you got to run it. <laughs> well, I, I, you know. I'm Dr. Lundy. Right. I have four right. children here who are from my congregation in New Jersey. Right. And we were invited. This was I, I was just told to show up at three o'clock. Right. Some kids I could sing. Right. Okay. And I did. When I got heard the words, which yeah. was my first time. Yeah. I was shocked. I was like, wait, am I hearing this? So I asked if I could see the words, and I, I was about to bring them out, and, and I was told to let me explain. So could you help me understand why? Why yeah, well, have male, African-American males in the context of New York, at the Apollo, no doubt, singing, yeah, it I need a gun it is to keep me right. from harm? No, it doesn't. It's just to keep myself among. Uh-huh. Keep myself among the What's poor the, people who are burning in the sun. It says harm. No, that's not the lyric. See, that's, that, then that's something that, different. That's not the lyric at all. It says, I need a gun to keep myself among the poor people who are burning in the sun. Say the word, the last word again, the mung. Among. 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 Like among. 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 That's, among. That one word makes a major difference. And well, that's it's what, not harm. That's just some, that's, that's, but that's bureaucracy what the kids are singing. going, but that, they're singing the wrong one. And, and I, don't, I don't know why, uh, why? Wayne, he's, he's why? done it. In England, with kids right. of similar um, ethnic backgrounds, right. and it was recorded in Atlanta with purely uh, African American. Exactly. Okay. With with um, so it's kind of its origins are already amongst amongst. But but when you say that word, I mean, just for you to change this word from harm to among. Well, you got harm on that's there. That's a major. No, he didn't write these lyrics. No, 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 but there's never, that was, that's not, it's I need a gun to keep myself among. It's a kind of rhetorical thing. It's an anti-war song. Completely, if you look at uh, Booty Brown's, the lyrics of it, it's utterly and totally anti that. It's, it's pacifist. The whole record is a pacifist record. What's the gun here? The, gu the, gun, the gun is, 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 is a... Is a uh, I suppose I, I, I see the gun and I use it throughout the record mm -hmm. as uh, as a strong kind of it's such a it's it, it is such a negative image that it has to be somehow sort of destroyed and turned into something else you know it's do you know what I mean and that's all I'm trying to do in the record that's all I'm trying to do that's what I'm being very very upfront and yes Having using a kids choir on the record, it is. It's. It, it's. But but, you know, to be honest with you, you're the first people who have actually have actually who have it, even really it, thought I find, about. I find that very shocking. Mm. But well, really you know, my, my mother, my mother, my mother finds it shocking that I make these records and no one seems to kind of sort of understand that right. there's this. And and I'm 
I mean, I'm sure if I lived in the UK, I could probably get a more understanding of it, but I'm talking about the situation well, I wrote that happened. The situations that happened here yes, and the way that no, the kids use well, we, weapons here. Yeah, you know. but we have it in, we have it in Britain. You see, you, you, well, I, well, we I, 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 don't, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't we watch have, news we have Britain, it in Britain. Britain. We have kids too much, in you know, schools yeah. with guns. Yeah. Exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. Really. Right. You know, there's no difference. Yeah. Yeah, I think what I hear you saying is that it's almost the, the the dichotomy between dark and light. Exactly. You know, the yeah. album is called Demon Days. And the, the <laughs> These words. Okay, I got you. I, I know, but, but you've got <laughs> to no, understand. I, I, you know, I will do, you know, I'm not. Demon, but when you're really I, I do. I want to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank not you. A thank person. you for your work. <laughs> and these are from Where's Damon? I've been stressed out. <laughs> I mean, really, seriously. I mean, I've never gone on, I'm never, uh, you know, I mean, I love music, but man, I've never, you know, except for this one thing when I played Sinatra, have I ever even thought about performing a song, mm. much less, you know, I can't sing a word, you know, note, but but this is like, you know, it's just a, yeah, well. Do you want to work out that cue, Dennis? Sure, let's try one more. Let's just, just you. Okay. Look at that hole. Look, just look at this ball. It's just so look at that. Oh, oh great. <laughs> Looking for a meal, are you? Yeah. <laughs> so that should do it, you know? Yeah, yeah, I don't think you need to, you okay, need to devote you any more of your stress to this. Okay, really, yeah. it's going to be great. Because you've got to set your goal. <laughs> it is, it is. I, and I hope you have a fantastic night tonight and, uh, you know, really enjoy it. And, you know, great. hopefully you'll be kind of a bit oh, itching to get on that stage and do damn it. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Apollo Theatre, man. It. <laughs> it's like every fucking body who has ever any. And yeah. they've, got, they've, got this, um, <laughs> they've got this lucky tree stump which they kind of carry around. It's, 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 it's wonderful. You just touch it. Like, you can stick your head in it yeah. and it's just... There's a sound in there that's uh, yeah. a very unique sound. Yeah. It's a beautiful but place. I, lo I love Harlem. I love the feel of Harlem. Oh yeah, I lived there for <laughs> I lived there for almost a year. I was a dancer that I knew in the early fifties. As you want, professionally. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very good stay. Kids in the car. I'll tell you what, I was wrong about that. That is actually a brilliant t shirt. It says everything you need to know. Hey, what? You want it? Hey. Fuck that off, Chris. Carrie, you really should wear some clothes. I keep telling yeah. you this. Yeah, we put clothes on. up with it for a long yeah. time. Are you fucking stinky? Oh, 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 hey, that's my new design on one. Where should I do it? Should I do it the girls? Should I do it the girls? Should I do it the girls? You fucking 12 pounds of ginger toe. What is that? That's what the officer was getting round in his car. <laughs> no, because I'm going to be sick, and if I'm sick, then it ruins my vocal cords. Some others do have them. Oh. 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 That's not me, that's in there. Oh, fuck off. You just said you literally cracked your pants in front of everyone and go, that's not me. You did, you shot it then. I can't take it, so it's not my... <laughs>
to where? Just, just where well, you were. Where she was standing, yeah, okay. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. So, huh? what are you? Something I've been working on for the last six years. What? Smoking. 